First up today, we have news from Wayne County. The sheriff's office there is giving drivers a heads up. This after three separate incidents where someone posing as law enforcement is pulling people over. And they're appearing to target women specifically. Our Isabel Lawrence went to Wayne County today to speak with the sheriff's office about what they know and what you should be looking out for. Isabel, this is very unsettling. Yeah, definitely scary situations if you're behind the wheel in these situations. So the first call, that came in on Friday. A woman reported she was pulled over earlier in the week by a man wearing a shirt that said sheriff, and he was wearing a duty belt. He was driving a black SUV with a flashing red light. Now, according to the sheriff's office, that woman and another woman who was pulled over were both asked to get out of their cars, but they refused. They stayed inside. Then on Saturday, another driver, a man this time, reported being stopped by a black Ford Taurus flashing blue and red lights. But according to an incident report, once the impersonator saw the driver was a man, they ran back into the Taurus and they left. The driver described the person who pulled him over as a white man, about 6'2", clean shaven, wearing a black hoodie with what appeared to be a body camera and a duty belt. It appears that this person's targeting women and asking them to get out of their cars. And we can only speculate that that might lead to some type of an abduction or a sexual assault or something of that nature. So it's very concerning and we're going to be following up on all the leads that come in to try to bring this person to justice. Now, I did reach out to the people who were pulled over. I did not hear back this afternoon. But you'll remember, Cleveland has had its own impersonator situations. Since March, Cleveland police have reported five incidents where drivers have been approached or pulled over by fake cops. Four of those incidents ended with a driver being robbed at gunpoint. Now, Captain Hunter says at this point in Wayne County, it's hard to believe there could be multiple people posing as law enforcement, but ahead at five, what they are suggesting you do if you find yourself in that scary situation. Yeah, is this something that the sheriff's office has dealt with before? So surprisingly, this is something Captain Hunter actually said he isn't familiar with. He can't recall another incident like this in the county. He says this is unusual, but he did some research and he says it seems like people impersonating officers is an increasing concern, not just in Ohio, but they're seeing it in other states too. Wow. Yeah, and there's no connection that we know of between right. the Cleveland incident and the Wayne County incident. Correct. Could be copycat, could be completely mm -hmm. separate. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, thanks for the heads up. Of course.